Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the Movie Hangout. Disney bought Stan Lee. That's a topic of this video. Before I jump into this crazy business deal that just went down, if you go on over, click subscribe, comment, like. I'd love to hear your feedback on this article. Okay, so we all know that for quite a while now, Disney acquired Marvel. And with that, they got all the Marvel properties, pretty much with the exception of like some Spider-Man stuff and a couple other things. But for the most part, Disney bought Stan Lee's entire catalog, his whole life's work. As if that wasn't bad enough. As if one corporation owning all of this content going back decades and decades. They also bought Stan Lee. Literally. They bought Stan Lee himself. His name his image, his voice, his likeness. There's only one catch. Stan Lee is no longer alive. He passed away a few years ago. So how could Disney own Stan Lee if he's not still alive? Well, they're going to be resurrecting Stan Lee using CGI. I kid you not. This, I mean, this raises a whole other level of moral questions. Is this moral? I mean, it, is this abuse? I mean, he's no longer with us, but I mean, is this kind of like using someone to make money? I mean, it, it just raises so many ethical questions that we've never even had to think about in the past. And here I'm in this great article from Bounty into Comics. Marvel licenses Stan Lee's likeness. New deal opens door for CGI appearances of legendary creator in Disney theme parks and future MCU projects. So basically what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be using archive footage, they're gonna be splicing things together, they're gonna to be just creating new stuff with Stan Lee like he's actually saying it. And for me, I mean, you know, Stan Lee real, was a real man, he had opinions, he had views, and by kind of turning him into a CGI sock puppet, to say whatever you want him to say. I just think it's a whole other level of propaganda and weirdness and really just abuse. And the latest adherence by Disney to their legacy desecrating screed of no one's ever really gone. God, it's so creepy. Marvel Studios has signed a new deal to license the likeness of Stan Lee. You know, as if forcing this, this poor old guy to go to Comic-Con conventions and to sign thousands of autographs against his will, as if that isn't enough, once the guy passes away, they're still using him. The terms of which will allow the company to use his image however they see fit, including the possible use of CGI to revive the iconic comic book creator for future MCU appearances. As announced by The Hollywood Reporter on May 18th, a 20-year deal, between Marvel and Stanley Universe, a joint venture between Lee's Powell Entertainment and entertainment development company Genius Brands International, which currently controls the creator's estate, will allow for the Disney subs subsidiary to use Lee's name and likeness in a variety of different projects ranging from films and TV shows to Disney theme parks and merchandising. Interestingly, according to, to a correction made by the reporter's initial report, this license does not extend to virtual reality and video games. That's interesting. I mean, honestly, like at this point, you might as well, right? A familiar name to some, POW Entertainment, gained notoriety in 2018 when shortly before his death, Lee himself filed suit against the company, accusing them of having conspired and agreed to broke a sham deal to sell POW to a company in China and fraudulently steal Stan Lee's identity name, image, and likeness as part of a nefarious scheme to benefit financially at Lee's expense. So here, you know, the lawsuit, it was later dismissed with prejudice 2020. So that was after Stan Lee had passed away. Uh, I mean, it says, uh, with Los Angeles Western District Superior Court authorizing a $1 million sanction against Lee's daughter who inherited the case after her father's passing after determining the case was frivolous. I don't think it's frivolous. I mean, at, at what point do you own who you are? I mean, doesn't this guy deserve that dignity? 
It's just crazy. I mean, it's nuts. Further, the agreement grants Marvel exclusive rights to the use of existing images and archive records of Lee's person. It sounds like they like, for a period of time, they like own his soul. I mean, it's crazy. It's really, it really ensures that Stan, through digital technology and archive footage and other forms, will live in the most important venue, the Marvel movies and Disney theme parks. It's a broad deal. Uh, and then it says, despite this publicly noted rejection of the digital zombification, I, I'd say that I like that term, digital zombification of late actors, uh, Hayward hinted that such a move was not completely out of the cards for Marvel. So this is what Hollywood has wanted to do for a long time. This isn't just about Stan Lee. Hollywood has wanted to, so, so Hollywood views actors as, you know, a, a box of cereal, a box of macaroni and cheese, a can of soup. They, they, they look at actors as a product, okay? And every product, because it's a human being, has a shelf life. Um, it doesn't matter who it is. If it's Humphrey Bogart, if it's Jimmy Stewart, if it's uh, Cary Grant, if it's Tom, Tom Cruise, Bruce Willis, Brad Pitt, everybody has a shelf life. Now, they have like their life is their lifespan is like an expiration date, but really the period of time with their when they're at their peak and how they look, that's really their shelf life. That's that's what Hollywood thinks of people. Isn't that crazy? The Hollywood thinks that because they constantly virtue signal and preach about how good they are and how much they care about human beings and the world when it couldn't be further from the truth. Everybody listening to this video cares more about humanity than Hollywood does. So what the entertainment business has wanted to do, I mean, since the beginning, but they just have the, have the technology to do it, was they want to buy the likeness, the person of a A-list, huge money-making celebrity, and then be able to just create movies and content with that person's likeness. So they don't have to even deal with Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt or, you know, any big actor. They just give them, you know, I would I would assume in the future they'll give them like a billion dollars, a couple billion dollars, and they own that person's likeness forever. And also they want to resurrect stars from the past. You know, they want to bring back Shirley Temple you know, all these, all these Elvis Presley, all these famous people and digitally create new content to sell to living people. It's nuts. But here we're seeing it with, with Stan Lee and they always use it with a person who's really beloved and they always have, you know, kind of like a, uh, you know, it's a wholesome reason. And what they're saying with Stan Lee is they're like, look, we're keeping Stan Lee's memory alive he was a wonder he was like a, he was like a grandpa that, that brought us comic books why would you want everyone to forget about him let's not forget about stan we're going to bring back his likeness so you can see him in the park you know you can when you when you watch the latest marvel movie that's been released the fifth one of the year that's been released you're going to see stan lee again why would you ever want that to end wouldn't stan lee want that and clearly i don't think he would I don't think he wanted that. I think he wanted to um, have the whole thing end when he passed away. Wouldn't be surprised if they do this with, with Walt Disney. They bring him back as a digital sock puppet, and he starts spouting out political you know, slogans that he never in good conscience would have ever agreed with. I wouldn't be surprised at that. But that's kind of the era we're living in, and uh, I don't know. I, I personally think it should be illegal, but let me know what you think. Do you think it's moral that they did a digital zombification of Stan Lee, or do you think it's not harmless at all? Do you think that actually a lot of great things can come from it? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you want to get future rants, reviews, or original content, click subscribe. Later.